Hi, one last Christmas book for you. This story was my favorite at Christmas time when I was a little girl. And I still read it to my own children on Christmas Eve. I hope you enjoy it. And you can always get out this video and watch it again on Christmas Eve if you want to hear the story. The Night Before Christmas. A poem by Clement Moore. And Jan Brett did the pictures. She does amazing pictures. Was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Goodness. That means that everyone was asleep, even the mice in the house. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. In hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there, the children were nestled all snug in their beds. While visions of sugar plums danced in their heads, and Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. So everyone's nestled all snug in their beds, and the children are dreaming of wonderful things. It says visions of sugar plums dance in their heads. So they're dreaming about Christmas and Christmas goodies. And mom and dad are asleep in bed. <clears throat> when out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Oh, they heard a noise outside, and it woke them up. Away to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. So they ran to the window, opened the window, and looked outside. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave luster of midday to objects below. The moonlight made it look like it was daytime. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. That means Santa Claus. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house pop top, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas, too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. So there's the dad watching what's going on. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. And a bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. So he was had on furry clothes and they had like ashes and dirt on them from the fireplace. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. There he is. It's like Santa's having some cookies in that picture. 
The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly, and it shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. Ho, 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 ho. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh. His team gave a whistle. And away they all flew like the down on a thistle. And I heard him exclaim ere he flew out of sight. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. Merry Christmas to all. Bye.